Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be getting our seventh unlimited ring here in NBA 2K24, my team, our first unlimited ring of season two and showing off the updated squad with a couple of the cards that I have added for this week's team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 14,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Less than 200 subscribers away. Trying to hit that within the next few days. So we'd really appreciate it if you all do subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop right into it and take a look at the brand new team that we are rocking with which is going to be Steph still at the one MJ at the two Kawhi at the three Bosch at the four and Shaq at the five off the bench we got Donovan Mitchell Brandon Roy Scotty Pippen Sean Kemp and AD and then I got D Wade uh, D book and Bam out of bio last three right now I am really really struggling this weekend like more than I ever have the game is not playing in my opinion something happened yesterday and the gameplay has just been disastrous for me ever since it doesn't seem like it's affecting everybody but it's affecting some people I don't know what's going on the delay is terrible I feel like shooting is really weird it's just a mess I am it says three and five I'm three and four I did disconnect once but I'm literally I've won three games and I've lost four that's like really really bad by my standards um, not acceptable have been very very poor this weekend but with that being said we do I guess technically have three chances to get our way ring because I literally started off 0 and 3 and then I'm 3 and 1 in my last three so uh, but we do have a chance here to hopefully get a win and I'm gonna be honest y'all might see my lineup change significantly because I have been really struggling to shoot the ball, which means three hunting has been very hard, which means that Shaq has not been very useful for me because the best way to use him, the only, really the only effective way to use him is as a screener for a three hunting guard. And I'm just not excited about the prospects of that. And I played this dude earlier and it was a close game that I very could. This was actually my last loss. This was the one loss in the three and one, the splurge a dude. I am going to try to keep my composure, play smart, and hopefully win this game, do the best I can, and we're going to see what happens, because his team is, uh, we'll see, I mean, he, he his team's very, very good, but I, I just, I don't know about the two, man, I just, I've been really struggling today, so I don't totally know what to do exactly, um, but we'll see if we can win, win this game, and if not, I guess we're going to have to hop into another game, and we'll see what happens there, but I've been really struggling, I don't know why, it is really frustrating, I'm not going to lie to y'all. So he is 12 and one and I am three and four, which is uh, not very good. So shout out to this dude for being 12 and one. I got to play better this game if I have, if I plan to win this game. Uh, I know from playing him earlier, he's trying to go for a lot of crabs. He's trying to three hunt. See, this is what I'm talking about, though, because this dude, his movement seems very smooth and very fluid and very easy. And same thing with his shooting. That just doesn't isn't the way that my experience with this game has felt today or yesterday, really at all. Even in my gameplays yesterday, it was it was better than this, though. Today has been really rough and I don't honestly know why stopping in the Range. It's just I don't feel like I can shoot anything with confidence anymore. I wasn't really in front of Pippen there. That was a little bit of a force, so not a great take there, but definitely not offensively the start that we're looking for. It's just the, I just feel like so delayed as well. That's the other thing, especially in these crop pl cross platform games, which this is. This dude's on PlayStation. I feel so overwhelmingly delayed, uh, and it is so so hard to defend. It's so hard to shoot. It's just tough today, and I don't know why. That was a fine defensive possession. He got a dunk out of it, but I'm gonna live if I play that defensive possession in every single every single play. I feel like I got a really good shot to win the game. That is Shaq slipping way too late. I don't know why he's staying so high. The CPUs in this game just aren't the smartest sometimes. I, it takes forever to slip, even when I'm telling him to slip. And the, it, my opponent Shaq is coming super high to like contest. I just I don't know exactly what that is right now. Uh, but let's play some good defense here. Hopefully get through the screen. Contest. Click on. Did I get enough? You see what I'm saying? I feel like I am not the only, I'm, I'm feel like I'm, not everybody is experiencing what I'm experiencing with the gameplay because I just don't feel like I can dribble or shoot the way that I typically can. I, I miss that. I've missed so many decent looks today. Looks that I'm super confident and expect myself to make. And if y'all have been watching these unlimited videos that I do on weekends, it's a lot of Steph Curry to Shaq and it's a lot of uh, pick and roll offense. And I just can't run my offense effectively anymore. I've been struggling really badly to shoot. And that's not to say that shooting isn't an adjustment with the new patches and stuff that they've done but whatever happened in the last two days has made shooting so hard and i just don't i mean i can't get through any screens i can't run any offense with really any sort of effectiveness at all uh shack with an acrobatic layup does get it to go down we're down seven to four i'm just not feeling too confident offensively again i'm gonna have to go to an offensive lineup i think that doesn't include shack and curry because i just can't shot create with them and curry's a liability defensively shack is a liability offensively if i can't space the floor and run my offense the way i'm trying to and he he is just 
is that not a lucky animation? Like running inside on MJ and Shaq and going up and getting a standing dunk? I mean, I know MJ is a dog offensively, but come on, bro. I don't know. That just feels bad to me, but it is what it is. Stop, pop, Steph. I got to hit this. Bro, I just can't shoot. I'm telling you. I promise y'all. It's not. It's not. I don't know. I, again, wide open miss. I just cannot make shots this weekend, and I don't know why. All right, down seven, entering the second half. We have a bench right now that's in of B-Roy, D-Wade, uh, A-D, and Sean Kemp. And, I mean, it's a pretty good team. I just – dude, it just, that's, that's what I'm talking about. How is that – the release gets so slowed down there. It's been There's been so much of that stuff going on today that I don't understand since this last update, and it's just really frustrating. Um, it makes it very hard, I feel like, to actually play the game at a high level, uh, which is super annoying. Um, and I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's happening to everybody the way that it's happening to me. Combined with the delay, and the, it's just so, so weird. But really good defense on this possession. We're going to get ourselves a stop. Uh, I just I feel like that shot in the corner with AD was a, is a confident good shot. I'm open. I pull it, and then I'm like, and it pops up as very early, and I'm just confused because I, I didn't very early shot. And then I just <laughs> get blocked, and that's just algo, though. I mean, what are you going to do about that, right? Um, we'll get a screen with our guard, attack downhill, hit the corner, catch and shoot. He's jumping, no foul, and not even a chance of us to, to green a shot. Like, a lightly contested shot apparently is an ungreenable shot now. It's something that I'm pretty much learning, unless you have sharp taken. Even then, with the way the loadups are feeling right now or whatever's going on, like, how are you supposed to score? Good. That's a good shot. He can score. Well, that's not. Never mind, because apparently I can get a big contest, too, for once. That's actually nice. If it's, if I, how is that a 17? I mean, it, it goes both ways, to be fair. It seems like it is to a certain extent, at least. But good shot by AD, knocking that one down. The contest system is starting to feel really wonky. Um, but combine that with other frustrations that I'm having right now with all the delay and stuff. and I, Really? Was that not about as good defense as I could play on a standing dunk there? I have a Hoff anchor Anthony Davis down there. Devin Booker has, what, a 70 standing dunk? 65, something like that? And he just literally contact dunks on his face, basically. Four-point game. I know I'm complaining a lot this video. I apologize. I hope we can win this game. This dude is not a bad player, and I don't want to make it sound like he is a bad player because he's not. He's a legitimately solid player. But I just don't enjoy the way that the game is playing right now, and I just feel like it's a common Right now, it feels like it's a combination of Algo and the gameplay being frustrating. Um, just on these last couple possessions with a couple of the buckets that he's gotten and stuff. But fading from the mid-range, B-Roy, that's a great shot. And we do green it, thankfully. We got a wide-open look. If it's wide open, I feel like I can still shoot. It's just, it has to be completely wide open and not off a weird catch or off a load up or off anything weird. If it's not wide the freak open, it is a bad shot. And I do not understand that, but uh, get through the screen. Oh my goodness, D-Wade is getting active. Hold on, um, step up. This is not the matchup I want here, but we're going to have to make it work. Uh, helping over here. Ah, good. That's a great, I mean, I actually did get a little bit of a contest and he mistimed it, but that's an interesting shot for there, for sure, to go for the floater from there. Give me a same side burst. I just mess up the timing on it, of course. Um, back up top, and let's reset for a pick and pop here. Um, between the legs, attack, B-Roy, I had my slip, ooh, or a corner dot as well, but that's a good foul there. It's outside the last two minutes. Gonna probably put our bench, our actual, like, um starters back in the game here in a little bit probably gonna go donovan mitchell honestly um we'll see but uh let's go pick and pop here again see if we can take advantage again of Kyrie not being the best defender that's why i'm going d wade here going out the corner he, he's rotating really well defensively but that defense i can't stand that animation especially with bad defenders i'm by you for a dunk with the flash like Dwayne wade and we're not able to finish that Kyrie gets like a swim move wraparound animation of some sort there, and it just does not make sense to me. Um, let's make sure we X switch this and get that matchup right, because I do not want to screw around with that. He he pulled, hits an open pull up jumper. I mean, that's a shot you should be able to hit, so I don't mind him hitting it. And it's a good look for him. I got to give credit. But at the same time, it is really frustrating that I don't seem to have the capability of hitting any of those types of shots. AD gets a big old load up and slows down his release considerably, and I can't hit it. I just don't know. And he's going to dunk the ball on my face. And now we're down six. We were coming back, playing great. And all it takes is one possession. The game just playing like crap on a wide open three. Dirt release. And Algo has completely changed. Game feels like it's over. Another wide open look. Thank you. Got a good catch that time. When I get a normal catch and can time my release, I can green. But I just don't feel like I'm getting those consistently. Um, good defense here. Get through the screen at least. Oh, no. Crabbed. Contest. I'm there. He gets it. it. No slowdown. 
<sighs> I don't know. I, I feel like I have some sort of contest there from the side with uh, D-Wade or something, but maybe not. I don't know. Don't run out of bounds here. Um, let's go pick and pop again. I just need a good screen. Dude, oh my goodness. Come on, give me a good screen. Bro, D-Wade and AD. Like, oh my god. I just am rattled right now. Good shot. I mean, no, not a good shot. It's That's not a good shot. But I couldn't get anything go whole possession because I couldn't get off the screen because I can't dribble. I can't get my time burst. I can't get anything I'm really looking for. And then lock take doesn't matter. Do Michael Jordan dribbles through my arm. And now we're down eight and the game's over. So that's pretty awesome, uh, wouldn't you say? Um, so I don't know. It is what it is. What are you going to do, right? Uh, burst him back to the left. D-book uh, fade. He gets the wrong fade animation. <laughs> It's so frustrating playing this game right now. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. It is getting on my nerves. Nine, six point game, nine seconds left in the third. We're going to get our hopefully best lineup back in and see if we can win the game. But I'm just not feeling too confident right now. I mean, Scotty Pippen, dude, what are you doing? It takes him two hours to get set and uh, try to move laterally at all for a steal. But I don't know. Go up here. Didn't have time for it. It was going to go into. This is so frustrating. Well, three minutes and 22 seconds left. If I'm ever going to make a comeback, it's probably going to need to be now. So let's see what we can do. Uh, burst in here. He reached out of the play. I got to green it. I greened it. Yes, I didn't think I greened it. I don't trust my shooting at all, bro. But greening the shot with uh, Steph cuts it to a five-point game. We're here now. I mean, we're in this game for sure. Uh, it's not over yet. Uh, hopefully, Kawhi can hoop, can box up here. Good defense. Watch the crab. That's fine. I think I can. No. No, no. Please miss. Yes, he missed. Get out. Get out. Good, good. X switch. Swing. We're good. We're back. Yep. Okay, we're fine. We're, we're fine. We've reset everything pretty much. Um, good D, Steph. Let's go. Steph and Curry walling up there. Uh, MJ is boxing us up the court, but let's reset. Chill. We're going to size up here. We're going to go back to the left. Uh, Steph inside. Dump down to Shaq. Shaq not open. Uh, and reset it back out to Steph. Uh, let's go here. Curry slide away. Oh, so, good move, Steph. I need it. We're finally hooping at the perfect time. We are finally hooping with Steph Curry. And the pick and roll offense is finally coming together. Contest. Swing. Get back. Uh, rotate over to the corner. Get through. Now watch the mid-range. Watch the pull-up. Yep. No. What are you doing? Oh, no. My freaking Shaq just trolled me. I don't know why he stepped so high. He didn't have to do that. Great D, though. We're still through. We're still through. Kawhi Leonard is hooping on D. Wall up. Wall up. Contest. He doesn't have time. Let's go. We're hooping on D. Eight-point game is now two with us having the ball. And I feel like we're finally... For, really, this is the first time all day. I'm not just trolling for the video. This is the first time all day that I have felt like I have any sort of offensive like momentum and, and system and anything along those lines. And he gives his foul to give. That is questionable. To sub in Donovan Mitchell, a lot, he doesn't have a three hunter in anymore. Oh, he subbed Devin Booker. He does have a three hunter. I lied. Um, let's see what we can get going though. Steph, uh, attack through the screen. Um, he jumps. We got a three. There we go. He jumped. Three ball. Let's go, Steph. Get back, Shaq. I got to run back. Run, 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 run. Don't get beat up the court. Nothing too easy. Cool. All right. Now, uh, Steph is still matched up on MJ. I would, s oh shoot, I don't know who to match Steph up on, actually, because uh, he's got MJ at the three and Booker at the two. This defensively is not ideal, but the one thing we do have going is he doesn't really have any true three hunting point guard on the court. It's Devin Booker, really, but uh, I mean, I'll live with that. I'll live with that. That's a stop. That's a stop. Board. Let's go. Come on. Okay, slow it down. Get a bucket here. This would be a great win here. Really feel like it would redeem me a little bit for how I've been playing today. Um, and God, I had him, I had him, I had him, and I got stuck in my icons. Ah, that's so frustrating. It is what it is. Blow by, um, hit our hash, catch and shoot. MJ, I need it. Let's go! Michael Jeffrey Jordan, the brand new addition, is making a huge shot right there. MJ isn't the best shooter in the world, but he's good enough, and that's a great defensive play as well. Oh, secure the rebound. We're out on Daybook, though. That's fine. We got the best defensive player in the game on Drevin Booker. Good defense. Swing. Swing to MJ. Swing to MJ. Swing. Oh, that's almost a stop. That's fine. Two-point game, 47 seconds left. A patient, good possession that ends in a bucket here will win us the game pretty confidently. So just don't make mistakes right now. Um, 
make him come make a play and now come set me a screen um we're gonna size up here we're gonna attack through now we're gonna reset chill we're gonna reset come back to me Shaq. uh size up between the legs attack this way attack the rim steph all the way what a scoop layup oh that's sexy steph curry what a finish that is so so clutch and this very frustrating day fighting for an unlimited ring might end in a very satisfying fourth quarter comeback win 15 seconds left we're boxing up he is absolutely boxed no chance i'm giving you a three that is ha ha funny business i'll hold the ball here and you're gonna have to foul and steph with sharp take free points great free throw shooter all that stuff you know we're gonna make two free throws right here and we're gonna get right up out of this game let's go man this is such a great win for me i feel really good about this one because today was rough i haven't struggled this much in a while and maybe i'm getting my mojo back Maybe the game will start to play better. Maybe whatever's going on is going to get tweaked with the delay. But we finally played a couple minutes of good 2K and string together a great win against a good player and a guy who beat me earlier today. I mean, we were down 12 points in this game. We're going to come out of here with a win and our championship ring. A little bit of adversity this weekend, no doubt, but it's finally going to reward us with our unlimited ring, and it feels good, man. I definitely feel better about this win than any of my other unlimited ring wins, to be completely honest, because I've been struggling, man. This feels like it definitely gets me back on track to where I feel like I can compete and beat anybody again, because I was really hoping before season two, and I've been really struggling these past few days, but there are past two days, really, with my gameplays and stuff yesterday, but more trying to sweat more today with the unlimited ring has been... It's been a challenge, but we're going to come out of here with a win, which is so exciting. I'm so pleased, man. That was, this was a hard one. Why is Donovan Mitchell celebrating with me? Two weeks in a row, 2K, what are we doing? Fix the game, bro. Nothing ever works. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell, you got cooked by Steph down the stretch. You should be handing him the finals MVP's trophy because we dogged you. Stop celebrating. Let's go. Big win for our team. 9 of 21 from 3. Not great, but the second half, 7 of 13. We were 2 for 8 in the first half. That fourth quarter especially, 5 of 6 from 3, 6 of 7 from the field. A 19 to 7 fourth quarter d delivers us an amazing win. We didn't He had 6 offensive rebounds in the fourth quarter, and we still pushed through and won the game. What a great performance down the stretch by our team. Who was our best player? I mean, honestly, I would say Steph was our best player. As much as he has frustrated me, we really got him cooking down the stretch of that game and made some plays uh ad was good Shaq always always contributed i felt like ad was actually better than the three for eight but we got some weird release catch and shoots and stuff it's been a frustrating weekend for unlimited unlimited for sure but it is what it is we wound up having to go four and four to get our unlimited ring but which is terrible but it is what it is let's see oh jordan Walsh. i already have him unsellable so that's only like 500 mt so i'm gonna test my luck and hopefully get something better well nothing really better unfortunately so a team ball pack whatever we'll take that we do get the win though we get five tokens as well which allows us to actually pick up our first token player of the season towards uh Shea Gilgis Alexander, which is this Sapphire Rick Fox, who's actually not a horrific card, pretty good budget card, like for salary cap or something. This is an intriguing card, but uh, we do get that. And then the reward that I'm really excited about for this season is the 70,000 MT that we get this week and the liftoff deluxe unsellable pack for our unlimited ring. That's unlimited ring five. No specific rewards for the next three weeks from this section, but there are some more rewards we can look forward to. But yes, for this week, if you've gotten all your rings so far and you get your ring this weekend, you will get your seventh one which gives you this 70,000 MT and I am back up to almost a million MT uh, I did spend a little bit of money before the season about 100 bucks but that's okay man we have ourselves a really really good looking squad right now um and I'm starting to hopefully find my mojo a little bit I could use a popper man I'm not gonna lie give me a diamond David Robinson or something I would be so happy or Chris Dasprazengas because I'm getting sick and tired of these inside bigs as good as they are uh let's open up this lift off deluxe pack as well simply because there's a good chance I mean there's a 15 percent chance we could pull an amethyst the, the odds of the lift off deluxe packs are pretty good so we could pull something solid here and unfortunately as I say that we get a gold. Uh, well, what was I really expecting? Luke Longley. I, I got my hopes up for no reason. That's on me. Unlimited is more rewarding this season, though, man. I will say, I would recommend grinding it out. I think it is worth it. I had a rough weekend this weekend, but we still managed to get ourselves the unlimited ring. It was a lot of work, but we got the job done. And of course, I'm going to keep grinding out Unlimited this week, uh, over the next week or so. Got to get this Chris Morse, but I also want to get a bunch of this other stuff as well. Badge option packs and Hoff badge packs and a lot of other good rewards this season. Better packs, just overall better stuff that you can get this season. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.